hey what's up what's up i'm so glad that you decided to check out this video today as you can see from the title we're talking about class c rv mobile home conversion i know that was long probably it's not even what the title says but at the end of the day i have this chevy 91 chevy catalina i purchased it for 2500 dollars off of offer up and um, when i walked inside this is kind of sort of the state that it was in um, I knew that I needed to get started with the renovations because this is something that I wanted to convert into my mobile salon. Um, when I graduated um, cosmetology school, going into a salon did not really appeal to me. I didn't want to work in an office or in a building 24 hours, seven days a week, kind of go. I'm just a creative person and I like to think outside the box. So here I am just basically getting started with the renovations. Um, I had attempted to hire two different guys at this point and both fell through um, and decided not to do the work or they didn't show up. One of them didn't even show up. Um, so I knew that I had to do what I could to get the ball rolling. I figured once I started to work, I would get help from my then husband um, because he knew my dreams and desires for the space but that did not happen um, instead of feeling sad and down I just went ahead and got started doing what I can do so if this is something that you're deciding that you want to do I don't care how many no's you hear you keep going until you hear your, that one yes or you just keep researching until you feel like I can do this. And this is where I am at this point is I really feel like I could do this. I can do the renovations. It did not seem like that much work. Um, this is me throughout the demolition oh, process. And I actually found a problem of concern or area There's of no concern, which is actually over the overhead cap. I'm sorry about the camera right now. I'm just going kind of all over the place, but it was over the overhead cab. It had some type of leak that was tried that someone um, renovated. And when I tell you I had so many that was just coming at me, you should just scratch this idea, go get a job, you know, in a salon, you know. And honestly, I, I thought about it. Um, I can't say I didn't because I know it was a lot of work. It's a furnace. I have no clue what to do with this furnace. I didn't know what it was for. I kind of purchased this RV and never had been in one, never driven one, but I drove this and I actually, as you can see from the beginning of the video, I rode off and it was fine. So it wasn't, I wasn't intimidated when I got behind the wheel. It was just the perfect size and I can manage it. Um, the roof was in pretty good condition. The AC blows really cold um, and at this point i'm just kind of showing you around the rv after the demolition demolition excuse me i took out all the cabinets right there i'm just showing kind of sort of where the main area of concern is which is over that overhead cab and in later videos i'll try to go into detail um throughout the projects because this renovation um i initially the turnaround time was about six months i felt like it all could be done in six months even with him working full-time me working full-time we should be able to get it done so that i could have my premiere party or really relaunch and everything but it did not work as planned um, throughout this time i had actually uh state of florida had her two hurricanes to come through um that's where the ace the refrigerator used to sit and I know I wanted to close this wall in and it's just basically showing you um, if you are thinking about doing this before you even um, take anything apart I just kind of wanted to show you what it will look like again this is a class C RV It's a 91 Chevy Catalina and the framing is metal on this RV as you can see it's metal framing right there around that air vent and 
I just kind of got that put there so that the elements did not come through that hole. That's where the um, stove vent used to be. And that's where the stove and refrigerator sat. Got to figure out something to do with these holes down to the floor now that I've removed all of that. But because I'm not familiar with what it is, I don't want to cut anything. But I'm definitely going to do a subfloor over this floor. And I'm going to follow up the floor with some type of laminate flooring. Um, they have wood floors in here before. So that's the AC, uh, excuse me, the seat belt my oh, layman knowledge camera here and then that's but directly that's the, the outside that's the back really of that tent that's actually just the so glass for the outside it's gonna be real easy jesse so there was no to lift this up here. and to get it right and i hope you just it. before me kind of did his own repairs and it wasn't the best but he told me he had repaired it so i kind of let it be what it be um, in between working on the renovation as you can see I still have to work I still have to make wigs still have to make money because at this point the renovations um, has cost me about eight hundred dollars um, and that's before I know that I'm gonna have to do a complete new re-roof so at this point it was about eight hundred dollars in repairs and I've saved a lot of money um, because I had my husband to kind of come in and do some um, work and I did all of the demoli demolition so kind of saved myself there but this is kind of like where I'm ending right now it's basically the before the midway and at this point this is how it looks like a true Tasmanian devil been inside but if you just stay tuned stay stick with me you'll see how I plan to bring this all back together full circle I am a mobile hairstylist out of Orlando Florida I specialize in making uh, custom hair pieces halos and wigs for cancer alopecia patients and um, prior to this, I had no experience with repairs, renovation, RVs, anything of that sort. So if you are in the market, I'm just going to say this. I would definitely recommend um, you taking somebody with you that have a knowledge of RVs and the ins and outs. And make sure that you don't have to replace and do as much work as I am doing just to get in and renovate and turn it into a salon should be enough without having to actually rebuild and recreate something so i actually am showing you documenting my journey step by step and it may not have been the best decision um as far as purchasing this rv but because i have her i have to make it work so um yeah if you have any questions concerns please feel free and document that down below in the comments section you can also email me or if you want to connect with me through social media it's the mobile house of glam and that's on instagram and facebook look forward to seeing your renovations complete and your progress so um, if you're also doing a mobile salon, please tag me. I want to see your journey and kind of compare notes. And I can actually, um, I'm, I'm an open book. I don't mind sharing my knowledge as to what I'm learning through this process. So if you would like, we can definitely um, converse on that. Again, I'm in Orlando. I'm going to close in this floor because I feel like that's wasted space. I don't really need to have access to the outside. That furnace will be removed. So it's going to be walkable space over there. And this is what I'm learning um, about the roof. The back part of the roof was, was solid. 
you can dance on that part of that part of the roof there was no problems it's only when you get right in front of that AC that you will start to have like a more of a soft feel so those are the two problem areas right there in the front of that cab I'm definitely going to show you kind of sort of where it is I hope you don't mind the voiceover because at this point I had no idea what I was doing <laughs> 